What's up guys, Random Razor here with another tech video for you guys today, and today we're going to check out the Ring Floodlight Cam. So of course, without further ado, let's slice this open, test it out, and give you guys my full in-depth review. So I've reviewed a few different security cameras in the past, and this one here is a little bit unique and interesting as it's a security camera and a floodlight all in one package. So the camera slash floodlight seems to come in this premium packaging here saying hello to ring. We have a little goodie pouch here, which I would assume is the setup guide and whatnot. So is the warranty information and we also have some stickers. And last but not least is the floodlight slash security camera itself. And it looks like there's actually one more piece of packaging in here, which is your installation kit and something that many brands and companies don't include are the actual tools to help you install their product which in this case is the floodlight and camera so here is the floodlight camera itself and one of the great things about this is that although there are many cameras out there that have night vision you really can't beat two bright leds to actually light up the area in case someone trips the motion sensor so first off this is a wired unit meaning that you do have to hook this up directly into the electrical wiring of your home or wherever you're installing this. The great thing about that is that you have better features because you have direct power to the light and cameras. For example, you have 1080p recording, two ultra bright LED floodlights, and some other interesting features is that it also has a, a 10, 110 decibel security alarm. So if someone trips something and you have the alarm set, it will make a really loud noise. There's also two-way talk, so you can talk to, through your phone into the camera with another person who's standing in front of the camera. And of course this can be placed indoors or outdoors so it does have a weather resistant design and it's also Wi-Fi connected so you don't need to have an internet cable or something along those lines connected directly to the camera. The floodlight and the box here are made of metal so it's definitely a pretty well built design and the camera itself here is made of a plastic casing. But as I already mentioned it is a weather resistant design so it's going to resist snow, rain and all that sorts pretty easily. Taking a quick overview of the design, what's on here, you obviously have the camera on the front here, the motion sensor on the bottom, your speakers, as well as the mic built right on the front. The camera, is a, uh, the camera itself is 1080p, so it's a very high resolution for a security camera. And of course, flanking left and right are the two bright LED bulbs. So anyways, installing this is a breeze. If you already have a pre-existing floodlight built in, you can just take the old one off and put the new one on here just to connect the wires. But if you don't have a floodlight outside already pre-installed, then you may have to get an electrician to set one up for you. But anyways, through the magic of YouTube, let's install this, see what it looks like, and test it out. All right, so I've got the camera slash floodlight installed here. You can see my old Arlo camera right next to it, which this one here is going to replace. Um, long story short, the rain camera here, it has lights built in, better quality video, it's corded so you never have to worry about changing batteries. I'm definitely looking forward to this upgrade. I do have the camera installed behind our business here and basically I wanted to show that a lot of review videos on YouTube have shown this camera in a home or residential style setting but here I wanted to demonstrate that you can use this in a more commercial setting and not just restrict it for residential use. So first off I do have to say Ring designed a pretty nice looking floodlight. It's modern, sleek looking, nothing too flashy or ugly and it doesn't take away the look of your home. The camera does feature two 3000 Kelvin LED bulbs in this which are super bright and energy efficient. Here's a quick demonstration of the floodlights here, nothing too spectacular. Basically once you get into the zone where it detects motion, it automatically turns on. And you can see here they are very bright LEDs. I got the majority of our driveway here pretty much lit up as well as a staircase. And here's another before and after and to show off the brightness of these LEDs we have off and then on. And here's one last shot of the driveway and basically you can see this light is more than enough for a two car lane driveway. So the next thing I want to show you guys is a video and the best way to show you is actual video surveillance of someone trespassing on our property and triggering the camera. So you can see here this guy he, he basically hopped over like two or three roofs jumped onto our deck to carry a large kayak and some kids toy thing down the stairs and he's jumping over the railing there because there's actually a locked gate. Now by this time I got a notification on my phone saying someone has triggered the camera and motion sensors off the, the ring floodlight cam and I look at my phone and I was like oh why is there this guy trespassing on my property carrying his junk around. So I hit the alarm on the app which triggers the alarm on the camera 
and Ring isn't kidding when they say your neighbors will likely hear this. It is a very loud alarm. It's kind of clear that this guy wasn't too spooked by the alarm, which leads me to believe that this isn't the first time he has triggered an alarm like this uh, somewhere else. So in short, two things that this video has taught me is first off, if I didn't have the Ring camera, I probably would have never known that this guy trespassed onto my uh, deck and stairs here to carry his junk down. And second, which I think is a really cool feature, is the fact that the ring sent me a notification the minute the motion sensors were triggered, hence I could pull up the live view and see what's going on. The last thing I want to share with you guys is the Ring app, which makes using this camera user friendly. The first thing I want to show you is the notifications, and this is what it basically looks like. When the motion detector is triggered on your camera, you get an instant notification on your tablet or your smartphone that looks like this. And if you want to view what's happening right at the moment, you just swipe it and it takes you directly to the Ring app. So here's what the Ring app looks like. It's pretty simple, basic. Uh, if you have multiple Ring devices, they'll appear on the top here. In my case, we just have one. So we're going to click the Floodlight Cam. So here's what the Floodlight Cam page looks like. It's a pretty simple interface. We do have two toggles here, one to manually turn on the lights, but when they're in the off position, they'll only turn on when motion is detected. And the second one here is for motion alerts. For example, if you know you have people walking in and out of the camera range all the time and you don't want to get notifications during the day or something, you can just turn that off. And the rest of these options here are just basically there to set the device up. For example, if you want to schedule the light to turn on for a certain period of time, you can also check your event history because everything is stored on the cloud. You can check this on your iPad, your uh, MacBook if you have the Ring app installed, or even your phone. My favorite setting here has to be the motion settings. You can set your motion zones right on the camera here. For example, I know cars weave in and out of this back part here all the time, and I don't need notifications for that, but I just want to restrict it to this area here, which you can see in blue. And last but not least, of course, is the live view feature. Now this camera doesn't just pick up video, but also audio. All you have to do is hit the green button here. Now you can hear what's going on uh, in the camera. And because the camera also has a built-in microphone and speakerphone, you can actually have two-way communication between your phone or tablet to the person in the uh, camera. You also have the ability to disable the mic and the speakerphone right on your device. And if you click for more options, you can enable the alarm, which will give you a second warning to ensure that you do want to activate it and manually turn on and off the lights. So that is the Ring app. Pretty easy to use and lets you take advantage of the full features of the camera and floodlight. Overall guys, I've been using the Ring floodlight camera for about a month now, and I have to say the combination between a camera and a floodlight works really well. The camera itself is high quality, and combined with a floodlight works much nicer than just night vision alone. Additional features such as the alarm and two-way communication are a nice added bonus, all this for an affordable $249. In comparison to the Arlo camera that I have right next to it, I do prefer the Ring camera not only because it's technically a better camera in itself in terms of the specs, but also because it's easier to use with the Ring app that is more stable and a little bit more quicker to respond than the Arlo app. In terms of any cons or things I don't like about this camera here, there's only two things I can mention. First off, the installation process, unless you have some sort of electrical background or experience with working with lights, you may need to get an electrician to install it. And the last thing is that you do have to pay Ring to use their services. It costs $3 a month or $30 for a full year, and Ring will save your videos for up to 60 days in case you need to download and retrieve them. Although some of you may be upset that yes, you already paid for the camera, it's kind of like buying an iPhone. Yes, you you bought a phone but you still need to pay sell your service in order to use it and in this case you do have to pay ring something for them to store your videos onto their servers and as someone who's been using the camera for a month now i'd say that three dollars is well worth it to protect your property in conclusion guys if you're looking for an outdoor security camera you definitely can't go wrong with the ring floodlight cam anyways thanks for watching guys hope you all enjoyed the video and if you have any questions or comments about this floodlight cam ask me in the comment section there down below hit that like button as always helps me out and i'll see you all in the next video